friends, welcome back to my porch. This is Miss Becky. I'm a children's librarian with the Asheboro Public Library. Today, we're gonna talk a little bit about drawing faces. <laughs> I like drawing happy faces, don't you? Have you ever tried to draw a picture of your own face or a picture of someone else's face? When you draw a picture of other people's faces, it's called a portrait. When you try to draw a picture of your own face, it's called a self-portrait. Before I give you some tips about drawing faces, a little bit more than a happy face, although happy faces are great and I love them, but we're gonna try to do a little bit more than that today. Um, before we do, I want to tell you about a favorite artist of mine who liked to draw a picture of her own face and her name is Frida Kahlo. She did a lot of self-portraits. Frida Kahlo, was a famous artist who was born in Mexico in 1907. When Frida was 18, she was in a terrible accident and she had to stay in bed for a really long time. It was during this time that she started drawing and painting pictures of herself. Uh, she used a mirror that was attached to the top of her bed to do this. Frida went on to draw lots of pictures of herself because she said it was the subject that she knew the most about. I think it also helped her to cope with some of the difficult times that she had been through when she was young. Frida's self-portraits often had colorful borders around them or animals because she loved animals. She also liked to highlight her eyebrows because she said that her, her eyebrows reminded her of a bird flying. You can learn more about Frida Kahlo by checking books out from the library. Um, there's also books about the art of drawing people and even books about cartooning, if you're interested in that. Usually I start drawing a face by drawing an oval. I'll usually make my hand go in a circular motion with the pencil and then when I'm ready, I'll put the pencil down really lightly and draw some ovals until I get the shape that I want. And then I'll make it a little bit darker. You can always go over your light lines with darker lines when you like what you have. But lighter lines are easier to erase, so that's why I start lightly. Then I usually draw a line through the center of the oval this way because did you know that our eyes are actually about halfway down our head? A lot of times you'll see happy faces and they'll have like eyes up here on the top half of the head or like this. <laughs> But actually, our eyes are really about in the center of our head. So usually I draw a line up through the center to remind me that that's where the eyes go, especially when you're looking at somebody's face straight on. I also draw a line this way because for the most part, our faces are symmetrical. I have like one eye that's a little bit higher than the other <laughs> and we're not perfectly symmetrical, but basically the center line will let me know where to put the nose and where the the line, the point should be between the eyes and where the center of the mouth should be. This line also kind of lets me know where the top of the ears will go. Usually ears will go about right here like this. So this line is usually where the eyes are and usually I will start by doing kind of like a an arch shape like this for the eyes. And this will sort of be the top of the eye like your eyelid. Usually I'll draw a circle right under this arc because that will be the colored part of our eye. And of course, as you know, we have lots of different colored eyes out there, but we're not gonna think about that today. We're just gonna figure out where they should be basically. So this will be the colored part of your eye. And then you usually have a dark are in the center of your eye, and that is your pupil. That's the hole that lets light in, helps you to see. Okay, now we've got some eyes, and then when I feel happy with the shape of that, sometimes I'll just draw the bottom part of the eye in like that. Now, the one thing about eyes is that usually about an eye apart. Um, and these eyes look a little far apart. So 
So I might need to move them over a little bit or make them a little bit bigger. So usually they're about eye apart. But maybe this person just has eyes that are a little bit further apart. <laughs> okay, now the nose um, is usually about um, almost to the bottom where your ears are. So ears are about this far down and then your, the bottom of your nose is usually about here. Sometimes people like to draw triangles for noses but usually when you're looking at noses straight on, you don't really see this triangle part unless the head is, um, you know, looking that way a little bit. So I'm just gonna draw sort of a, um, I know it looks like a little mouth, but it's really gonna be the bottom of the nose because um, we usually have a little round part of, on the end of our nose. Um, and then I'm just gonna draw a little, um, some little round things on the side, and those are going to be nostrils for the nose. You can even draw the outside of the nostrils a little bit. Okay. Maybe the sides of the nose just a little bit, but we don't really have lines on the side of our noses, so I'll just kind of do a little bit there. So for our mouths are usually right below our, about halfway down um, between our nose and our chin. And uh, usually for the mouth, I would just start by drawing a line. And then, because um, uh, us there's usually a line be between where our top lip and our bottom lip meets. So here's the top lip. And then sometimes I'll just draw a little bit of a shadow for the bottom lip. I think I want to make that mouth a little bit bigger. Okay, so let's see. I think this person needs eyebrows, and so sometimes I'll just kind of draw the shape of the eyebrow. You don't really have to draw like all the hairs of the eyebrow because you really can't see eyebrow hairs from far away. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. I think I'll just going to darken these lines up a little bit. Now I have to decide what kind of hair this person's going to have. I think um, I'm just going to kind of draw a shape for the hair. I think this person will just have shorter hair because that's easy and it'll just kind of go across like this. a little bit more like me maybe a little bit more like me well I had fun making faces with you this week 
and I hope you have fun making faces too, drawing your own face or faces um, of your family members or friends. If you'd like to send them to us, we would love to see some of the fun faces that you make. Um, you can send them to ashboroughchildrensroom at gmail.com. Remember that your face and other people's faces are beautiful, no matter what size or shape or color they are, and no matter how other people see them. Your face is beautiful, just as it is. Thank you.